welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. I'm Mark and this afternoon I'm going to take you for a walk around our 2012 Holden SV6 Ute. And we'll start at the front of the car. You notice it is fitted with a smoked bonnet protector, genuine product. So it just sets it off at the front of the car. We've got our factory fog lights down the bottom there. Finished in a mid blue. I'd have to check the books to get the exact name of the colour. You notice that it presents really well. Having a really close look at the bonnet, struggle to find a mark on the bonnet actually, and even the front bumper bar for that matter, in really good order. And it's the same as we come down around the driver's side of the car. It is fitted with 19 inch factory alloy wheels, finished in a grey colour just to set it off a little bit. It is the Z series as well, this SV6. Really good tread on the tyres. Colour coded exterior mirrors, colour coded outer door handles, and just overall the presentation in really good order. A really minor little mark just on that uh, panel there. Uh, rear alloy wheel unmarked as well. And clear tail lights as we come around to the rear of the ute section. All of our chrome badging, direct injection technology as well, which we'll have a chat about shortly. Uh, slightly modified uh, chrome exhaust tips, twin, twin exhaust tips, just gives it that little bit of, uh, yeah, looks a bit better, doesn't it, really? And then as we come around the passenger side, presents fairly similar to the driver's side. The only thing I'd, I'd probably note, a couple of little touch-ups have been done just there. Um, you know, once again, cosmetic, but I like to point them out just so that you're aware. Um, the alloy wheels, having a good look, pretty much unmarked the left-hand rear. And for that matter, the, the right-hand, or sorry, left-hand front alloy as well, pretty much unmarked. So the overall presentation of the exterior of our example is fantastic. So back around to the front of the car now, we'll have a little bit of a chat about the uh, performance of this car. Direct injection technology, as I mentioned earlier, so basically what it does, it will, the car will drop itself back into four cylinder mode um, based on how you're driving it, just to conserve fuel consumption. Um, 210 kilowatts of power, 350 newton meters of torque, so it's certainly got the performance there if you need it, uh, but it's still going to give you a combined fuel economy of 9.8 litres per 100 k's. So you're going to get the really good economy whilst you've got the performance as well. Soft tonneau cover on the rear. Okay, they've gone away from the old days of the stupid little lugs and uh, it's just tucks under all these little strips at the back. We just use our little handles to release it. And let's have a, we'll have a bit of a squeezy in the back. So as you can see, we've got, uh, we've got the factory tub liner in here and it's pretty much unmarked. Doesn't look like this car's done much work at all. Now, now we have our factory car mats that we can put in the car as well. But as you can see, looking in the rear of the car there, um, well, the way it's been kept so far is spot on. Okay, so we're inside the SV6 Z series ute. So uh, we'll run through a few of the features, starting with the steering wheel. The car does have auto headlights. Being a ute, it's a little bit hard to focus the camera on everything in here. Um, leather wrapped steering wheel, height and reach adjustable. Set ourselves up where we're nice and comfy. Straighten our wheel up, push the lever up into position. You see how easy that whole setup is. Factory cruise control on our indicator stalk, our audio volume uh, knob there. Um, it does have Bluetooth, this car. Don't be fooled by the navigation button. They didn't all come with navigation, and this car does not have uh, satellite navigation. Our audio button to our left-hand side and our trip computer button. It'll feed us our information, distance to empty, average fuel consumption, and so on. And the other little knob to the left is just a change between either radio stations or tracks if you're playing CDs, um, which basically leads us into this head unit here. That gives you all your setup and your configuration. You can store music in here as well. Um, you also obviously set up your phone and everything from there. Down, right down below that, uh, it does have dual zone climate control, air conditioning and heating. So we set all of our temperatures up here. Once it's all set to where we're comfortable, hit the auto button whenever you need it and away you go. A manual button directly below that to turn traction control off if you wish. A little storage area there. Six speed manual gearbox, so she's, she's the good gear. Six speed manual. Our controls for our exterior mirrors here, 
just by that button there. Our two power window switches, handbrake as well, cup holders, and then a good storage compartment there. Do have a 12 volt outlet. It also does have the, the facility to charge, uh, charge your phone in there as well. So the only other thing, obviously being the Z series, we pick up the partial leather, slightly bigger alloys, quality seats, um, but the condition's the thing that gets me. This car's only done 27,000 Ks, so it's one out of the box. For a 2012 model, to only have that many Ks on it is outstanding mileage. Um, you've got to be extremely happy with that. And what we'll do, we'll just have a quick look at our service books as well just to uh, do our final confirmation on the quality of the car. If Mark can actually get the uh, front of the book open. So originally owned in Queensland, this car, and let's have a bit of a look at the history. The initial service, 6,000, 18,000, 27,000. Service books are perfect. Does have all our airbags, front and side airbags. So you know that the occupants in the car are safe as houses. So in summary, a few really important points to take note of. As I mentioned, 2012 Z Series SV6 Commodore, 210 kilowatts of power, 350 newton meters of torque, and at the same time delivering you 9.3 litres per 100 k's combined. Six speed manual gearbox, front and side airbags. A really impressive example of a 2012 SV6 if you've got any further questions, feel free to give us a call on 9907 0555.